Let me guess, you're tired of installing a new plugin for every tiny change you want to make on your WordPress site. I was exactly where you are. I used to add a plugin for every little feature I needed, and you can imagine over time how that added up. My dashboard was just a maze of plugins and my site was definitely feeling it. But everything changed when I discovered what I'm about to show you. Here's what most WordPress users face and tell me if this sounds familiar. You want to add an SVG logo, there's a plugin for that. Need to disable comments, another plugin. Want to add a Facebook pixel, yep, another plugin. Before you know it, you've got more plugins than you know what to do with, but it gets worse. Each plugin you add can slow down your site if they're not coded properly, create potential security vulnerabilities if you don't keep them updated, and cause conflicts with other plugins, which you won't find out until something goes wrong. Emergency. Emergency. Well, I'm happy to say not anymore. WP Code is basically the Swiss army knife of WordPress plugins. But before you say not another plugin, hear me out. This is different. This single plugin can actually replace dozens of others. Think of it as your command center for all those little tweaks and changes you want to make to your site. The best part, you don't need to be a coding genius to use it. I certainly wasn't when I started. What makes it special? It comes with over 100 pre-made snippets within the plugin and 2000 in the snippets library that work right out of the box. No coding required, just point, click and activate. Let me show you what this means in real terms. Remember that SVG logo you can upload? One click in WP Code snippet library and problem solved. Want to add Google Analytics? Instead of installing yet another plugin, just paste your tracking code into WP Code's header section, done. Scared of breaking your site? WP Code has built-in error protection. You literally can't crash your site with a bad snippet. And here's my favorite part. You can save all your favorite snippets in the cloud. So when you build another website, and trust me, you will, all your snippets are right there waiting for you. Before I show you exactly how this works, do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button. We share weekly WordPress tutorials and tips just like this to help you build better sites. Okay, now let me show you exactly how powerful this is with four real world examples you can use right now. First, let's add a duplicate post feature because you know how annoying it is to try and recreate similar pages from scratch. Okay, so we're in my WordPress dashboard and this is for a demo site. And to get WP code on your site, all you need to do is head over to plugins, click on add new, type WP code into the search bar, hit enter, and then you'll see this is WP code here. I've already got it activated on my site. All you need to do is click the install and activate button, and then it's good to go. And once it's on your site, you'll see that the code snippets plugin is here. That's WP code, just click on that. And now we're in WP code. And to get access to all these free snippets, all you need to do, as it says up here in the note, is connect to the WP code library. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. So just click on that link, that's going to open up this pop up here and then to connect to the library, just click on the connect to WordPress button here. Now that will either ask you to sign in to your WP code account or create an account. But once you've done that, as you can see, it's going to successfully connect to the WP code library. So for this, I'm going to add the duplicate post snippet. And to do that, all you need to do is click on the add new button up here. And now you see all the snippets in the snippet library. I'm just going to type in duplicate post into this search bar. And I didn't even have to do that. I just typed in duplicate and you can see it's right here. From here, there's two things you can do. You can either use the snippet by clicking on this button right here, or you can preview it. We're going to use the snippet. So just click on use snippet. And now we're in the snippet editor. As you can see, we've got the title of the snippet code preview so we can see how the snippet is made up. And then we've got some other options for how we insert the snippet into the site below that. And then device type, smart condition logic and more. But basically, essentially for this snippet to work, you don't need to do anything other than toggle the tab up here from inactive to active and then click on update. And now that the snippet's active on our site, we can head over to our post section here. We'll just click on that. And if we hover over one of our options, we can now see the duplicate link right here. 
See that new duplicate link next to each post? One click and you've got an exact copy. Perfect for creating template pages or similar product listings. Okay, so maybe you prefer the classic editor. I know some people do for certain posts. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly show you how easy it is to disable the Gutenberg editor or the block editor in WordPress using WP code. And to do that, I'm first I'm gonna show you, I currently have the block editor working on my site. So I'm just gonna head over to posts here, click on that. Then I'm gonna click on add new post. And here, as you can see, I've got the block editor enabled on my site. Let's leave this page and head back to the dashboard. Then come down to code snippets here. Hover over that and click on add snippet. And to disable a block editor, we're gonna search for the snippet we're looking for. So the snippet we're looking for is the disable Gutenberg editor snippet. Type that into the search bar. As you can see, there's two snippets right here. We want this snippet right here. So to use this snippet, we're just gonna hover over it and click on the use snippet button, just like that. And now we're in the snippet editor and we can see the code that's gonna run on the site once we activate it. And it's really this simple. All we need to do is click on the toggle right here to activate this snippet and then click on the update button. Okay, so that's active on the site. Let's check out the post by clicking on the post link here and then click on the add new post button. Look at that. We're back to the familiar classic editor. Let's add Google Analytics without bloating your site. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect to Google Analytics using WP code. Super simple. Actually, we don't need any snippets for this because there's a header and footer feature already inside WP code. So all I've done is copied the Google tag from Google Analytics for this site. If you don't know how to do that, we do have videos on the channel that will show you how to do that. But for this, all I'm going to do is show you how to add that tag to your site easily. So the first step is from your dashboard, go down to code snippets, hover over code snippets, or if you're already on it, you'll see the header footer option right here in the menu. Just click on that. And then it's as simple as clicking in the header area here and pasting in your Google tag. So I've pasted mine in right there. Then once you've done that, click on the save changes button and you should start getting analytics data from your site. And to show you that it's working and I've added the tag correctly on my site, I'm just gonna click this test button right here and that's gonna test the site and make sure that tag is there. As you can see, green tick means everything is good and it should start receiving data from that site. Last but not least, you know that black bar at the top of your site when you're logged in? It's useful for development, but the admin bar can really be distracting when you're trying to see how your site looks to visitors. Okay, so let's remove this black bar, the admin bar, from this site using WP code. To do that, I'm just gonna head back to WordPress backend or my dashboard, then come down to code snippets, click on that, then click on the add new button. And then what we need to do is type in admin bar to the search bar. And we've got a bunch of options, change how the admin, move admin bar to the bottom and remove the WordPress logo from the admin bar. But we also have disable the WordPress admin bar. So we're just gonna hover over that and then click on use snippet. And again, in the snippet editor, we can see the code that's gonna be active on the site. To remove that admin bar, all I need to do again is activate the snippet and then click on update. And to check that working, just head to the front end of the site and there you can see no admin bar so we can view the site without that distracting admin bar at the top. Super quick, super easy, super simple from WP code, love it. And if you ever need the admin bar back, just deactivate the snippet with one click. What I love about these examples is that traditionally each one will require a separate plugin. That's four plugins we just replaced with a few clicks. And remember, there are over 2000 snippets in the library. So imagine how many plugins you could eliminate from your site. Now I know what you're thinking, this sounds too good to be true. What if I mess something up? That's exactly why I love WP Code's safety features. Every snippet is tested, and if something goes wrong, it won't take down your site. Plus, there's a paid and free version, and the free version lets you test the waters before diving in. So if you're tired of plug and bloat and wanna take control of your WordPress site, try WP Code, the link is in the description below. And hey, drop a comment, let me know how many plugins you have on your site, and let's see if we can reduce that number by using WP Code.
Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.